Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Apostle Alfred Uyinosa, the man with the talk amasi be, say bag of rice for Nigeria now na 60,000 naira. People they suffer. Make I leave you, make you hear from Apostle Alfred Uyinosa. The message we bring come today. Enjoy the video. Hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the location of the watch this broadcast, happy Sunday. Which way Nigeria? Which way, Nigeria? It just be like say our leaders know they talk. It just be like say our leaders no care about the plight of the people. A bag of rice will be say the mass is fifty afford. A bag of rice is not sixty thousand error. As at yesterday. A liter of fuel is now 650 naira. Make we not talk about diesel. Make we not even talk about light. Our children are being frustrated. Parents are being frustrated because of the high level of hardship in the country. Because the country is being ruled by insensitive and heartless leaders. Our children are dying of starvation. The poverty is on the increase. It just be like say nobody cares. It just be like say the political class no care. Rice that the masses can afford, but today they can no longer afford rice. Rice is one of the staple food that everybody have access to. <coughs> Excuse me. As at yesterday, bag of rice is now 65,000 naira. 60,000 naira there, but which way Nigeria? Which way to go? Our senators, they're busy, they buy cars. Of 160 something billion to buy bulletproof cars because they say because the roads are not good. It is it very sad. Say the kind of people who will get when they rule the, the, this, this country from the federal level, they are pure insensitive. Buhari killed this country. We thought that Tinubu would come and ensure to, to, to rewrite those wrong. But today, some of the policy of this present government is even worse than eight years of Buhari. Yet, we know that Buhari killed the system completely. Why should we be suffering in the midst of plenty? Why are we going to suffer in the midst of plenty? Come on, food for the masses. The masses do not have food to eat anymore. People are not seeing Bonita take, take buy two cups of rice. Now one buy one cup. Even Gary, where the people they afford, you can't go afford Gary because of the level of insecurity. Because cow will see they enter our forest, they destroy our farmland. Why is this country being ruled by people does not have human feelings? The Nigeria, we are not asking for much. Just give us the basic amenity. Give us light. Give us good health care system. Give us good road network. Just give us, give us affordable health care system. Give us quality education. That's all. That is what we are asking for from the federal government. That is what we are asking for. <laughs> Our children are roaming the street every day. Children, go, you know, I spend close to 8,000 every week 
for school run. 8K every week for school run. Because of high cost of transportation. If I make we leave the money to buy for more tomorrow, we don't just go there at all. 20,000 naira fuel cannot take you for three days because of adulterated fuel. If I can afford it, what other person, everybody cannot afford it. Nobody is talking. Everybody just feel a concern. Go to our university. Students are suffering because of high demand. Later on, we come with different textbooks. Our public private school today, they meet the people, they meet parents because of books, textbooks that are not necessary. Textbooks we will not need when the children don't need. We we'll continue to buy. How did we get here? Just basic amenity. The people cannot get it. We on edge. We're going to buy one bag of fries now for 60,000 naira. Food. If the federal government not ready, divide the country. Let everybody go their own separate way and take care of their region. Let everybody go their own separate way and take care of their region. Let the south go. Let the west go. Let the east go. Let the north go. Let everybody go their own separate way and take care of their, of their region. Because the federal government has failed to live up to their, live up to their expectation. What we just need? Why must you impoverish the people? You make everybody to become poor at all costs. At all costs. People can feed. Because a man that cannot feed can collect two naira to commit crime. A boy that cannot feed can collect 1,000 naira to commit crime. Look at our small, small children sleeping up and down because they just want to survive. Parents cannot even afford three square meal for their children. Fathers are doing their best. All their money go on transportation. The high cost of living in this country is becoming unbearable. Go to our universities. Students are suffering. Students are going through pain. Students are going through pain because of high cost of living in Nigeria. We have everything. God bless us with all human natural resources, but yet we are still suffering because we have leaders that lack wisdom. Because we have leaders that don't have human feelings. And nobody is talking, nobody cares. We are fighting for our own selfish interest. We are on earth in a country that have crude oil. We have everything. Well, we should do be buying fuel for 650 naira. 650 naira for a liter of fuel. Yet, the fuel is being adulterated. Is it gas? You can't even buy gas as of today. 12.5 kg of gas now is about 12,000 naira. Depending on the gas station. Some are selling for 11,000. Some are selling for 10,000. Some are selling 12,000. Depending on the location. We need freedom from this hardship. From these leaders that are insensitive. Politicians without human feelings. That is ruling us in this country.
self centered leaders because they could send their children overseas because they can afford food for themselves. So the masses should suffer and die. How did we get here? 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 How? How? Which way, Nigeria? The thing we're supposed to be demanding for, for, for constitutional review. We are busy fighting ourselves. What stopped them from implementing the, the 2014 CAP report? Nothing is working in this country, Nigeria. Nothing is working. We are now in a, in a country where nobody is answerable to anybody. Nobody is answerable to anybody. People can't feed. Education has become body. To start primary school and stress, if I stress, start from KG. You enter primary, stress. Enter secondary school, stress. To enter university, stress. After you graduate, stress. You go anywhere, you see, stress. You come out, stress. When are we going to have freedom? When are we going to have a sense of relief for one day? Don't even talk about electricity in Nigeria. This is a national issue we need to start talking about. But no. We have been carried away by prank and all that irrelevant show. Just few days ago, a woman carried three children. She was just begging. Because of high cost of living. Our imagery on the street have increased. Those begging right now, they don't increase. People begging on the street now, they don't increase by 100%. 100%. They have increased by 100%. Chief Macho may cry because they no work. Even when they work day, the money is not enough to take care of their beer. Somebody, they receive 100,000 as salary every month. We could do calculation. Make we do calculation. Then you know what I'm talking about. I know a man where they receive 100000 every month as salary. Only transportation. Only transportation. Let me do the calculation. Transportation is about 24000 naira. Only transportation, not 24000 naira. As rent, a month as rent, now 25,000. We already have 49,000 for transport and house rent. Food never did there. Food never did there. I mean, food never did there. Now it gets children. Transportation for the children's school. Get this, just get this one clear now. Transportation for children's school is 8,000 error every week. 8,000 times 4, calculate. We already have 49,000 already.
That is 32,000. 32 plus 49,000. That is 81,000 food never day. So which means a man where they receive 100,000 every month, if they spend 81,000 on house rent, transportation for the children. His own transportation and for the children. Left with that much. Left with 19,000. How can a family of four survive with 19,000 every month? How? 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 12.5 kg of gas now is now 12,000 naira. So our leaders automatically make the people to become poor so that by the time they can come and give them 15 naira, I'll be shutting up chair. Which way, Nigeria? How did we get here? How did we get here? How did we get here? This is the question I'm keeping. How, 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 how? <laughs> we are supposed to be moving from good to best. We are not moving from bad to worst. If I'm from good to bad, from bad to worst, as are today in this country, Nigeria. People that go school now have no hope. No hope. When our government is supposed to be spending more money on technical education across board, children go graduate, finish, no job. They'll start hunting for job, job hunter. People they do hand work now, they can't even survive because of the high cost of living. All the money you are getting, you are spending it on transportation. All the money you are getting, you are spending it on transportation. I know a lady in Lagos, her salary now 50,000, her transportation for that month now 35,000. So how can she survive? How can she survive? All over the country, all over the country, no hope. Our children are dying of starvation. By now, I expect students to come out and say, no, we can't take it anymore. But you know what? We're all suffering and smiling. The hours, as soon as they come and they shout, just for mobile, when they do protest, that was the time we we're supposed to say, no, we can't even go to school anymore. There are more pressing issues. But we are being carried away with irrelevant matter. We allow ourselves to be distracted by these politicians. Not all. Not all. But we allow ourselves to be distracted by some of our politicians. But it is very painful to say those in the National Assembly does not have human feelings. Those in the National Assemblies does not have human feelings at all. When the National Assembly said they want to buy themselves bulletproof car of 160 billion, 60 million, why the PDP and Labour Party not work out on this chamber to say no? We will not accept this. Why did the PDP and Labour Party members not work out from the National Assembly? Say no. We are not party to this. Let's see how we can make things work. Why did they not sacrifice that 160 billion million to say no? Let's use this money to fix the road in our environment. But you guys are quick to buy yourself a personal car that you can drive. Why the people are crying? Suffering. No one that late fella said, Nigeria suffering and smiling. 
That's why I want to talk and reach this morning. Because I don't go talk what you're not supposed to talk. The next election will still come for this country, Nigeria, as they do as soon as it was still doing. The judiciary, they say, is the last hope for the common man. But I can tell you, no. The judiciary today is the last hope for the uncommon man. For the uncommon man. Those of you practicing law, Eh? Step out of law school, go and let K3. Those of you practicing law want to become lawyer. I beg. No verse. Wanna drop out, wanna go learn K3. Wanna go learn tailoring or hairdressing. So I want to talk and reach. When I remember Nigeria, what I run away, my ayo, aye, aye, what I run away, my eyes. How did we get here? How did it get here? How did we get here? How? 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 This is the time we're supposed to be demanding. Ah, shit. I just discovered that we're there in the city where, like, uh, you know, I'm not coming, not concerning. Provided I can get for my car, it's not my business. We are not living in the season of it, it's not my business. We are not living in the season in Nigeria of you know concern me. Uh, anywhere if, if, any wish went away. Even the labor they also put that we are looking up to. The labor they are seeing in labor war, they never see deliver. The labor are supposed to be speaking for the people. They, they are not the ones speaking for the government. <laughs> when good luck was there trying to make life good for us, all of us said, no, you'll be a woman, we need a strong man. We say, no, good luck, a woman, we need man. Man, don't come. Man, don't come. But guess what? Dollar is now one thirty something. There, yeah, thousand. One, I mean, one thousand three hundred. Congratulations. Wait, oh, what did it cost? I don't cost dollar save. Are we spending dollar in this country? Is I don't know. Wait. I they ask question. Now dollar would they use for Nigeria being a naira? If na naira would they use, what thing they happen? You know why? Because we depend everything we do in Nigeria is on importation. We import everything. Why not come up with policy once and for all? When I remove subsidy, we touch thinking of the aftermath effect. How do we cut the effect? Nothing. Food, people can't buy food. People can't even eat. The youth are supposed to be demanding for right to live. And busy align themselves this Unnecessary distraction. As of today, no, you're supposed to say we don't go school again because we go there still. We know they go school. Mona Kai is cool. But if I lead the protest, who will join me? They will say, I am an apostle, I know.
The suffering is too much. The suffering is too much. Children, children, they buy every day. Parents, they buy every day. Because no hope. People, they buy out of depression. No hope. Bless you. Now we don't hear from Apostle Alfred Dujino, sir. Let us know what you think for this matter. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things with the Apple for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video, make you a share. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.